Are you wondering whether you should get an SJD, JDS, PhD, LLD, or DCL? Curious whether this advanced legal degree will help you get a job in academia or somewhere else? Today I will discuss what those degrees are and whether they will help you achieve your goals. Hello, Lawlings. This is Professor Bo Bias. The SJD, JDS, PhD, LLD, and DCL are terminal degrees in the law, each requiring significant research and writing, culminating in a doctoral dissertation. We'd like to welcome everyone to the thesis defense of doctoral candidate William Edwards. Mr. Edwards, you will have 20 minutes to defend your thesis. First, I will go through a brief history of the degrees, explaining why we have different names for the terminal degree in law. Second, I will help you understand the requirements for earning the degree. Third, I will explain several job prospects for those that earn the degree. And fourth, I will provide you with an alternative to these degrees. History. Let me go through the naming conventions for the degree. In the United States, Canada, and Australia, the terminal degree in law is generally called the SJD, which is Latin for Scientiae Juridicae Doctor and is translated as Doctor of Juridical Science. If you thought SJD meant Super Juris Doctor, you would be wrong. A few law schools call it the JSD, which is Latin for Juridicae Scientiae Doctor and is translated Doctor of the Science of Law. In many countries, you will find the PhD in law, the most recognizable terminal degree in the university setting. The LLD, which stands for Legum Doctor, and is translated Doctor of Laws. And finally, many law schools in the United Kingdom and Ireland call it the DCL, which is Latin for Legis Civilis Doctor, and is translated Doctor of Civil Law. One warning. When looking at these credentials, in many countries, the LLD is only an honorary degree, which can cause confusion for those people who earn the LLD in a different country. Requirements. This is the terminal degree in the law and is earned primarily through independent study, research, and a written paper called a doctoral dissertation. Most law schools also require an oral defense of the dissertation, though some have dropped this ancient practice. <laughs> On this, the 14th day of October, Anno Domini 2013, I, William of the House of Edwards, do hereby swear to defend my thesis. It generally takes three to five years to earn the degree with students working by themselves and with one doctoral supervisor. There is usually no need to attend classes. Before getting accepted into a program, you must earn the first law degree, then an LLM, and finally this doctoral degree. But keep in mind that some law schools require you to earn your LLM at their law school to qualify for their doctoral program. Because students that earn their first law degree in the United Kingdom where you go to law school right out of high school, you can eliminate three years of higher education. This is because in the United States, Canada, and to a certain degree in Australia, you must earn your bachelor's degree first before going to law school. This adds three to four years to your legal education. Jobs outside the United States. The primary reason people seek this degree is because they want to teach at the university level. In many countries, earning the terminal law degree is essential to teaching at a university because many countries limit the number of doctoral candidates in their countries, 
several American law schools offer the SJD to meet the demand by international students. In addition to teaching jobs, some with doctoral degrees are able to get jobs in the nonprofit and private sectors, jobs inside the United States. In the United States, not only is a terminal law degree not necessary, it might actually hurt your chances of getting a job as a law professor. This is, in large part, related to how American law schools developed. In Europe, law schools have always been part of the university. In fact, the first university in the world, the University of Bologna, began as a law school. But in the United States, the nation was born on the frontier. Initially, lawyers were trained by other lawyers, the apprenticeship model. Then, some lawyers created small professional schools for their students. It really was until the 20th century that most law schools finally became associated with universities. But even then, they retained their character as professional schools rather than as university departments. Because American law schools are viewed as professional schools, the only degree required to teach at one of them is the Juris Doctor the entry-level law degree in the United States. The advanced law degrees beyond the JD are viewed with some suspicion by American law professors because those credentials are not required for teaching in the United States. Let me share my experience with those I've met with these advanced degrees. When I was looking for my first teaching job, I met several people with these advanced degrees. and. I met many more when I was on the faculty hiring committee. The first thing I noticed about these people is that their first law degrees and other credentials were not enough to get them a teaching job in the United States. They went on to get advanced legal degrees, believing that more degrees would help them get into teaching. That just isn't true in the United States. That being said, a top student from a lower rank law school might find it useful to get an advanced legal degree from a top law school like Yale. But even then, getting a legal job is hard. Even top graduates from elite law schools can't always find a law school teaching job. Alternate doctoral path. If you want to get a position at an American law school, you might want to consider earning a terminal degree in something other than law. This is because some law schools value interdisciplinary scholarship. So a PhD in music or history or biology are of more value than an SJD or PhD in law. Still not a guarantee, but at least you might get noticed. New videos every other Wednesday, so hit the subscribe and bell button so you can become a better student and a better lawyer.